Hey guys, this is Michael from Craft Me WP, and in this video, I wanted to go through managing orders for your WordPress website. And in this case, we'll be using WooCommerce. This is a follow up video from my previous tutorial where I showed you how to create this amazing e commerce website step. By step if you haven't seen that video yet then you can go ahead and check out that video which should be shown on your screen right now anyways let's dive into the tutorial so we're on the website and the first thing I want to show you is how to go ahead and add a product to your cart well actually I'm going to be running through the process of adding a product and checking out before I actually dive into managing orders so I'm on the Azure Leap which is one of the products and I'm going to click on add to cart right now I'm going to click on view cart and I'm going to click on proceed to checkout all right so this is our checkout screen and of course here we would put in our billing information and if I scroll down, you'll see the option to also enter some shipping details. So if your shipping address is different from your billing address, then the customer would pretty much select this and then they could put in their shipping address here. For now, I'm just going to leave this off. And on the right hand side, I'm just going to enter some information. Now, this is some dummy credit card numbers, so don't pay this any mind, but I'm just going to enter some information here. And I am going to enter some details here. So for this payment system, I had just set up a test account just for the purpose of the tutorial. But now I'm going to go ahead and click on place order. All right, and when the order is placed, you'll see this summary here. So this is what the customer sees. It just basically says, thank you, your order has been received. They can also see some order details so they can see the exact product that they ordered. They can also see the shipping information as well as their billing and shipping address. Now, when it comes to email notifications, you as the administrator would actually get an email from your website. In this case, I'm the administrator. So let me go ahead and pop over to my email client. So this is the email notification. And again, it pretty much just summarizes the order. It lets me know what the customer ordered. It also lets me know the shipping method that they chose and also gives me a summary of the payment method and the total amount that the customer paid. I can also see the billing address and the shipping address. So this is really convenient as well. I can then go ahead and start processing the customer order. And that's really awesome to see. Interestingly as well, uh, WooCommerce actually has an app as well. I haven't tested it out that much as yet, but I think this is pretty cool. So you can actually manage your orders on the go. Anyway, let me pop back over to the website. This is the email notification side of things, but now I'm back on the website and I'm going to go to the dashboard. Now, when it comes to managing orders for your WooCommerce website, you're going to go to WooCommerce and orders. And here you can pretty much see all the orders for your store. So you can see that this is the latest order that came in and it came in two minutes ago. Now, if I scroll to the top, the first thing I want to do is enable some additional fields. So I'm going to go ahead and click on screen options. And here you can see that there are some other columns which we can enable. So I'm going to enable billing. I'm also going to enable ship to, and I'm going to enable actions. So now if I scroll down, you can see all the billing information here, the shipping information here, as well as the actions. Now this just helps me to understand the order a little bit more. And just from this screen, I can see exactly who placed the order, where it's going, and also I can control the status of the order. So on the right hand side, where you see this option called complete, I can actually click on this button and mark an order as complete. So I'm going to do it for this example here. I'm just going to click on the checkbox. I'm just going to click on this tick. And here you can see that this order now changes from processing 
to completed. So when an order status changes from processing to completed, it actually triggers another email. So let me go back to my email client and let me go back to the inbox. And here's the email that was sent. So basically when I changed the order status, the website triggered another email, which was then sent to the customer thanking them for shopping with us. So it's really cool and convenient that we can have this all automated so that when a customer comes on the website and they place an order right up to the point when that order is completed, everything is fully controlled by the website, including emails as well. So that's really cool. All right, so I'm going to pop back over to my website and I'm going to show you a little bit more about managing orders with WooCommerce. So if I click on the name here, you can see a little bit more information about a particular order. So just like the summary that we saw on the home screen, we can also see the billing here as well as the shipping information here where it says status if I click on this drop down here, you can see that we have a number of different options that we can choose from. So immediately when an order comes in and payment is accepted, it goes to the status called processing, but we can also change it to a number of different things. So let's say a customer had canceled an order. Let's say they were on the checkout screen and they decided for whatever reason not to go ahead with the order. What would happen is that the status of that order order would have gone from pending payment to cancelled because the payment wasn't received for the order. Now the other order statuses such as refunded or failed are all statuses that we can also trigger. So let's say that a customer came on the website and they placed their order but for some reason they then wanted to have that order refunded. We could send the customer back their money and then we could come here click on refunded and then update the order. So once I do that, the customer would then get a new order notification, letting them know that the order was refunded. So it's really cool to have access to all these features. And I'm just going to set this back to processing. I don't need to actually change this here. So as I continue scrolling, you'll see that there are some other options. We can see all the payment information here just as we did on the home screen. And we also have some custom field stuff here, which I haven't played around with much, to be honest. So that's pretty much how you would manage an order in the current state. So I can view the billing and the shipping information, and I can then fulfill orders. On the right hand side where you see order actions, I can also trigger different emails. So let's say, for example, a customer sends me a message and says, hey, I didn't get the email about my order. I can come in here and I can manually trigger this order email. So that's pretty convenient as well. The final thing I want to mention is that if an order is completed, I can manually change it from here as well, just by clicking on this drop down and clicking on completed. Once I've done that, I will just go ahead and click update and this would then send off an email to the customer letting them know the order was completed. The next thing I want to show you how to do is how to conveniently print orders when they come in. So this is a request that I've received from a lot of my clients and I pretty much put this feature on all of my websites, all of my e-commerce websites. So to do that, I'm going to go to plugins and add new. So that's on the left hand side and I'm going to search for the plugin. Uh, let's just type in PDF. And let's see what comes up and here's the plugin so it is the pdf invoices and packing slips for woocommerce as you can see this has over 300 000 plus active installations and it's pretty much rated five out of five stars so i'm going to go ahead and click on install now and then i'm going to click on activate all right so the plugin is activated and next i'm going to go to woocommerce and I'm going to click on PDF invoices. So you'll find this on the left hand side. So once you're under the settings tab, you're then going to scroll down 
and you'll see a few settings here so for the most part we're pretty much going to leave a lot of this the same for example the template settings we're going to leave this at simple you can actually create your own templates but we're not going to do that in this tutorial and if i continue scrolling you'll see a number of different options here and each of these options have some descriptions so you can go ahead and read them and see if they apply for your own website in this case we're just going to continue and the first thing we're going to do is upload an image so let's click on set image and i'm going to select this logo here this is a logo that i had created for this store so let's pop that in place and you can see that as I make updates on the left, the preview on the right actually gets updated as well. The next thing I'm going to do is put in the shop name. So let's go with Swift Stride, which is the name of our shop. If you have a VAT number, then you can go ahead and put that in. I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to put a shop address. So let's say we are at 123 Swift Stride Road, New York. All right, so that's in place. We can also put things like some terms and conditions. So we can put that here. And you also have the option to put some extra template fields as well. So that's cool. You can always put these in. And once you're happy with all the changes, you can then go ahead and click Save Changes. All right, so that's good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Documents. All right, and let's scroll down a bit. So here you'll see a number of different settings. First of all, you want to ensure that this is enabled. And the next thing you'll see is the option to attach the PDF to different emails. So we of course want it on the new order email. That's the email that gets sent to the administrator. You also have some different options. So you can attach it to the canceled order, the failed order, or even the processing order. In my case, these emails are mainly for administrative purposes. Perhaps I have some store managers and I want them to be able to download and print invoices. In that case, I'm just going to leave it at new order email. So let's continue scrolling. And here you can see an option to disable um, shipping address or display it if we'd like. So I'm going to leave this at always. And I'm also going to enable some additional settings. So I want the email address to show. I want the phone number to show. And I also want the customer notes to show. I think it's important to have that on the invoice as well. These are the options here. I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to click on Save Changes. All right, so our changes are now saved. And so if I go to WooCommerce and Orders, let's go here. You'll now notice that under the Actions tab, there is a number of different options that were added. So we have the PDF Invoice option, and we also have the PDF Packing Slip option. So let's give this a click here. And here you can see our invoice. So of course it summarizes the order, it shows the exact product and the SKU, and it shows the total. Now on the right hand side, you can see I have the option to download this PDF file, or I can send it straight to the printer. So this makes it very convenient if you're running a store that gets a lot of orders and you want to stay a little bit organized. All right, let's, let's go back to the website for a second. And I just want to show you what the email would look like now. So I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to go ahead and add a test product. So let's add this one here. Let's click on view cart and I'm going to click on proceed to checkout. All right, I'm going to leave the billing details as is and I'm going to leave shipping. And let's put in some dummy data again for our test account. And let's do that. And I'm going to click on place order. All right, so the order is placed. And again, we see the summary here. But now if I go to my email, so now you'll notice that there is an attachment. And in this case, it is the PDF file of the order that was placed. So if I go ahead and I click on this invoice here, 
you'll see it also opens up in my email and then I can see the actual order that was placed by the customer. So it just again makes everything convenient and very easy for whoever is managing the store. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope the video was informative and that you found it useful. If you want to learn how I created this amazing e-commerce website, then you'll definitely want to check out the video that's on your screen now. I walk you through step by step how to create it, how to add products, how to add shipping and how to add payments as well. So go ahead and click on that video and ensure that you're subscribed so that you see all the upcoming videos that I have in store for you. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.